In this problem, we have a rational function, g of x equals 7x over 6x minus 5. And we're being asked to find the inverse of this function, and then also state both its domain and its range. So let's take this a piece at a time. Let's find the inverse first. And we're going to use these steps. Uh, we're going to sub in y for the function name. And in this case, our function is g of x, not f of x. But that doesn't make any difference. So I'll put in y for g of x here. So y equals 7x over 6x minus 5. And then we pull the old switcheroo. We switch x for y and y for x. So wherever you see an x, you replace it with a y. Wherever you see a y, you replace it with an x. So this becomes x equals 7y over 6y minus 5. And then finally, we have to solve for y. And that's a little bit tricky in this one. Let's see, we've got y on the top and the bottom of a fraction. I think I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator here so that it'll cancel. We get 6y minus 5 here. And then I'm going to distribute this x. And let me write this over here. So this would be 6xy minus 5x equals 7y. Now, the trick you want to do here is get all the y terms, any term with a y in it, on one side of the equation and the other stuff on the other side. So I am going to um, add 5x to both sides of the equation. And I'm going to subtract 7y from both sides of the equation. I'm just rearranging things. So when I do that, I get 6xy minus 7y. This should be a y here. And equals a positive 5x. Now, what you can see is this uh, set of terms here, each of them has a y. So I can factor out the y. If I factor out the y, I would get y times 6x minus 7. And that equals 5x. And finally, I can solve for y by dividing by this factor, 6x minus 7. OK, so this is our inverse function. So g inverse of x is 5x over 6x minus 7. Just forgot my equal sign. All right, now let's talk about domain and range. To find the domain of this, we can just look at the denominator and make sure we have uh, you know, a condition in our domain where we're not going to have 0 down here. So I'm going to take this denominator and set it equal to 0 to find the excluded value. Let's see, I would add 7 to both sides. I would get 6x equals 7. And then I would divide by 6. So x cannot be 7 sixths. So if we wanted to write the domain of this, we would say the domain is negative infinity to 7 sixths, but not including 7 sixths, and then 7 sixths on up to infinity. So that's our domain. What about the range? That's a little harder to figure out just by looking at this at this rational function. However, we have the inverse of this. The you know the inverse of the inverse is the the function you started with, and the domain and the range swap places. So if you want to find the range of the inverse, you just take the domain of your original function. So again, I'll take the denominator, set it equal to zero. Solve that to find the excluded value. Oops, plus 5. So I get 6x equals 5. We divide by 6. So 5 sixths is our excluded value. So our range, my things are getting a little crowded here, is going to be negative infinity up to, but not including, 5 sixths. And 5 sixths up to infinity. So that is how to find the inverse of a rational function and figure out its domain and its range.